In this snippet, we're going to create custom log channels that allow you to log custom formatted messages to separate files. Now, if you've worked with Laravel before, you'll know that pretty much all your logs get put into laravel.log. And uh, what we want to do is just separate this out so we have the chance to put specific messages into separate files. Now, as an example, we've got a file here called abuse, which uh, will log out if we have any kind of API endpoint abuse or anything else. And this just helps to keep your logs nice and separate so you can kind of get rid of the clutter of exceptions and see exactly what is happening. So this can be useful in some scenarios. And you can see here we've got an API endpoint abuse message with some context about this as well. For example, the user who is abusing this endpoint. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a completely fresh installation of Laravel here. And the only thing I've done is got rid of the contents of the initial route. That's where we're going to be logging this for. Just before we go on, let's take a quick look at how Laravel uh, actually logs in the first place. So if we head over to EMV, you can see we've got a log channel here set to stack. Now stack is like a multi-channel wrapper. So uh, over in our config, if we open up logging, uh, you can see that by default, the log, stand, uh, log channel is stack if we haven't set anything. And this will just go ahead and stack through multiple channels depending on how you're logging things. So we've got daily logs, we've got the ability to log to Slack if we want to, uh, paper trail. So if you're not using an external service, this can be really useful. Okay, so what we want to do is end up with a custom channel in here, which we'll create ourselves. And then we will look at using a formatter to clear up any of the clutter that we might already see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually look at how we log things. So we can do this in a variety of ways, but the easiest way is to use the log facade. Uh, and we can go ahead and choose the level of log. So for example, most of the time it will be info, uh, but we can have things like warning, etc, etc. So we're just going to go for info for now. So if we would say API endpoint abuse in here and pass through some information, so for example, the user ID who is uh, abusing a particular endpoint, we could go ahead and log that out. And that's going to end up in the Laravel log. So if we come all the way down to the bottom, you can see that we've got a couple of logs just inside of here, but this is kind of mixed in with everything else. So we want to create out a separate channel for this to happen. So to do this, we just add a new key. So let's go ahead and say abuse in here and let's create out an array with the driver. Now the driver that we're gonna choose here is going to be single. This allows us to log uh, to a single file so we can choose the file that we want to log to. And we can also tap through a formatter as well to format this in a way that we want to. So the next thing is the path. So this is usually gonna go in your storage path along with your other logs. So we're gonna go into logs and we're gonna call this abuse.log. So that's the, uh, that's the file that we wanna to log to. The next thing is the level. So this depends, but usually we'll just set this to debug. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose uh, debug for this. So let's just fix that up pretty quickly. You probably noticed that. And we've now created our own channel. Now to select a channel while we're logging, we basically just use the channel method and then we give the name of the channel. So in this case, the name of the channel is abuse, if I can spell it. And now that should go ahead and log to that separate file for us. Let's try this out. So I'm gonna give that a refresh, come over and you can see sure enough that has gone and logged that information to here. Now you might not, uh, you might want to customize how this looks depending on the kind of stuff that you're logging. And that's where a custom logger comes in or a formatter via mon monologue. And we use the tap key to provide a list of formatters. So what this will do is it will take the error that you're passing through to this particular channel and it will make this available in any of the classes that you define out here. So let's go ahead and create out a formatter for this. So inside of app, I'm gonna create a logging directory. And in here, I'm just gonna create out a simple formatter. And let's go ahead and get this working. So let's give this a namespace first of all, which is just under app and logging. And let's create a class out here called simple formatter. And this just takes an invoke method. So let's go ahead and create out a magic invoke method for this. Now into this invoke method, we get passed in the logger, which we can use to start to format things. So for this, what we need to do is grab each of the handlers, the potential handlers for this, and then do anything on them, handlers that we, we like. So let's go ahead and iterate over the handlers. So let's say for each logger, get handlers as 
handler and this is in the Laravel documentation so if you're just following along with this snippet and you need this code you can just go ahead and grab this directly from the Laravel docs. Now for each of the handlers we're going to go ahead and set the formatter for this so what this allows us to do is create out any kind of format that Monolog supports. We're going to go ahead and choose a line formatter it's just the most common so we're going to instantiate a line formatter we're going to go ahead and import that from Monolog and then we're just going to pass into here the string uh, that we want to see with the information. So for this, let's go ahead and output the date time. So that's pretty important to know when this actually happened. You can output things like the channel as well, but uh, this might not be useful, so we can get rid of that. And really importantly, we actually want the message that we're actually logging out. So let's go ahead and output the message just inside of here. And again, really importantly, the context, which is the array that we pass through to this. So we're gonna go ahead and put the context in there as well so that should be enough to make this work if we come over to logging now what we can now do is uh, import this into here and that should work as we like so we just need the fully qualified class name to this so let's go ahead and say simple formatter and class and let's make sure we import that at the top or of course you can do that in line if you want to within that array it's entirely up to you okay let's try this out so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this again and if we come over to our abuse log that, that didn't actually work let's just try that once more and yeah it's not worked so if this doesn't work if you head over to your main laravel log uh, you can see here we've got unable to create configured logger using emergency logger and that is just because here we see an undefined property get handlers so even if you end up with an error within the code that you're writing to get your logger working uh, you can go ahead and just fix up anything directly from your main log let's try this out again and come over to our abuse log and sure enough there we go so now we see the date and time the message and the context as well so you can pretty much customize this however you like you can go over to the monologue documentation check out the kind of formatters that you can create and as long as you've done this you now have a completely separate file set up that you can choose on demand where to log to and the message and the context that you want to log as well so this can be really useful for exactly what we've implemented here just logging out a list of potential abuses of an api endpoint or pretty much anything you want to do and of course what you can do is create multiple channels if you want to so you could create another channel in here for something very specific use a completely different file name for this it's entirely up to you but now you know how to create a custom logger or a custom channel which goes ahead and formats the message and the context passed in using monologue